with Pastor Kelly, Director of Hospitality and Congregational Care at Foundry. So happy to um, be with you on what you will see this as a Thursday, um, but um, I am going on vacation this week to get some much needed rest from um, from working so that I can be read up and ready to go when I get back. And so um, this is, today is not live. It is, I was about to say Memorex, but then that would show my age. So those who know it's not live, it's Memorex, know, know that line. Yeah, you're in my age bracket. <laughs> I hope that everyone is doing well and um, and that your week is going well. So today we're going to talk about connecting. We're going to talk about connecting today. Um, as the um, hospitality and congregational care pastor, one of the most challenging parts of, of um, this time of pandemic is um, connecting with my people. Um, first, let me say I miss y'all a lot and not being able to uh, visit people when they've been in the hospital, not being able to visit people at home um, has been um, very difficult um, to my little heart. My little heart has been um, hurt not being able to see you and not being able to um, be able to connect with you has been really hard to find ways to, to do that. Uh, and today uh, I want to read to you a scripture from Hebrews um, chapter 10 that, um, that has, uh, that, you know, has called me to think, uh, outside, um, my normal. Is Hebrews, uh, the Hebrews writer is calling the people to continue to persevere. They are at this point they're quite marginalized and they're going through a lot um, of, of challenge as they are are being um, persecuted for uh, following in the way um, they weren't called Christians yet they were following in the way and so they were following this um, little brown um, Palestinian Jew named Jesus and uh, and so they were being persecuted for it. Uh, and so um, here is the gospel, the, the Hebrew writer is, is giving them um, words to encourage them. Uh, it's a really challenging time. Um, some of them are being killed and kidnapped and jailed in all the ways in which um, they are losing their freedom and their ability to just be. Uh, and so, uh, so the Hebrew writer writes this, uh, therefore my friends, since we have confidence to enter the sanctuary by the blood of Jesus, by the new and living way that he opened for us through the curtain that is through his flesh. And since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us approach with a true heart in full assurance of faith with our hearts sprinkled clean from evil conscience and evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast to the confession of our hope without wavering for he who has promised is faithful. Let us con let us consider how to provoke one another in love and good deeds, not neglecting to meet together as is the habit of some, but encouraging each other and all the more as you see the day approaching. So that is Hebrews chapter 10 verses 19 through 25. That's that's Hebrews chapter 10 verses 19 through 25. And when, of course, when I got to 25, it said not neglecting to meet together. And I said, well, whoever wrote this never experienced a pandemic. Uh, and, you know, as I was pondering, God, how am I going to, what, what do I say to people who are missing meeting together? Um, and, and then it dawned on me so, uh, that, um, that there are lots of ways that we can indeed meet. Um, and so, uh, how are we, so here's my question for you. 
Um, how are you connecting? How are you staying connected? Um, it is so easy, especially for those introverts. Shout out to the introverts. Um, uh, it is so easy for, for introverts and those who are used to being alone to disconnect. Um, and I believe this is why part of the reason why Foundry does, um, does a great job um, of each day wanting to reach out. Uh, and so my question to us is how are we, um, how are we doing with our connections? And so some of those connections might be connections that we probably never thought to use um, because we just don't do that anymore. So, um, so, you know, writing a lovely letter is a way to connect or to meet with someone. Um, giving someone a phone call, hearing their voice on the phone. So, um, <laughs> uh, when my grandmother was still alive, uh, I called her every Sunday, every Sunday I would call her when I, after I moved from Atlanta and, um, and we would have our talks every Sunday. Um, so, um, who are the folks who you, you are missing and how can you reach out to them? Um, particularly those who don't use, um, the modern conveniences of technology. Um, who can you give a call phone call to today? Just call them, see how they're doing. Don't text them. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. If there's somebody under 18, text them because that's the only way you can get in contact with them because that's how I talk to my nieces. They, you know, if I pick up the phone and call, it's going to voicemail. But if I text them or if I, I am, uh, if I DM them in IG uh, or um, something like that, then they'll respond. It's very interesting. Um, but now we're having to be creative in how we communicate so that we can meet together. So how do we, so what are the measures that, that you're using to continue to reach out to others? I would um, say to you um, to, to put forth an effort to do that. It, it is hard sometimes to stop and write a letter to someone who you know they're not gonna answer the phone um, and sending them a card um, is the only way that you'll be able to get them a message. Um, let me pause here and shout out our card ministry. They do a really great job of sending out um, cards to folks once a month and, uh, and it's really made all the difference. So I want to thank our card ministry for the great job that they do. If you want to participate in being a part of the card ministry, email me at kgrimes at foundryumc.org and um, and we can sign you up <laughs> um, because there are people who, who really aren't um, able to um, connect on, um, on, tech, uh, on, on technology and uh, on its devices for whatever reason. Um, but, but I want to encourage you to not stop connecting with people because of this pandemic. I want, um, if there is a way you can connect send a letter, send a text, send a card, send a, you know, not a smoke signal, don't do that. Um, but send something that says, make a phone call, um, you know, it, or however, um, to communicate um, to, to the people that, are, that matter to you in your life. Um, this, is, um, this is a challenging time We've never seen anything like this. There's um, probably maybe 1% of the population that has experienced a pandemic before. Um, and the rest of us are just trying. And so, um, so the scripture calls us to not stop meeting. Um, and so that's why we have worship on platforms across the, um, across social media so that we can continue to meet and and you may feel tired of looking at a box to see people that you know um, however the reward is is great as we continue to make our way through this pandemic so um, so um, I, I would I would encourage you to do that 
write a letter to somebody that you miss at church. That'd be nice. Um, I know that I love getting mail, so, so do that. Do that for someone. Um, and let me also put out um, the call. If you know someone who, for whatever reason, doesn't use technology and they need uh, to be, and they need a connection, um, email me. <laughs> you know, hey, Pastor Kelly, uh, I don't think uh, Mr. So-and-so uses email or any of that stuff, but he sure would like to know what's going on. Email me, kgrimes at boundaryumc.org and we can we can make sure that they stay connected um that is um the goal of the care ministry care team shout out to the care team that is the shout, that's the goal of the care team to make sure that we stay connected that everybody stays connected no matter what medium we use whether it's paper <laughs> or this box uh and so uh, if you know of someone who who is in need of um uh, updating and and just a reach out or care um, a care call or, you know, a care card, um, please let us know um, so that we can continue to make sure that all the saints get a chance to um, continue to stay connected throughout this, um, throughout this time where we are physically distant um, because we are still connected uh, and, and God has called us to, this is the way we, this is the way we persevere, to stay connected and to keep meeting. Um, and so we're not going to, um, if I can help it, we're not going to let a pandemic keep us from, um, from connecting to one another. And so uh, that is my message for you today to keep connecting, whether it's the people that's in your house and you haven't had, y'all haven't really taken the time to take, um, to just connect together. Um, you know, um, or or it's you know it's the community it's the foundry community or the community at large stay connected um if there if you need ways to do that please you know you can comment in the comment section and let me know that um that you need someone to connect with you if you need a call just so somebody can say hey i'll call you <laughs> it'd be great to call you so um yes please please stay connected um it is the way that we persevere to to, to stick together that's the way we persevere. And so, and to continue to lift each other up in love. And so, um, God bless you and God keep you. And uh, I pray that we continue to stay connected. And, um, when, and when the time comes for us to see each other again, won't, won't that be an amazing, wonderful time. Blessings to you, peace to you, and uh, may God shine God's face upon you.